This is my 2020 desk setup tour sponsored by dbrand. If you want to customize the look of your new iPhone, iPad, Pixel, or even your Nintendo Switch, make sure to check out our channel sponsor dbrand and their new pastel skins. It's beautiful, colorful, and just makes your device look super unique. So if you want to go ahead and learn more about dbrand, check out the first link below or go to dbrand.com slash heymarkl. Okay, so this is the first time I've ever had a desk set up with two different computers. So on the left side is my gaming rig. This is where I spend most of my time at night and on the weekends. And on the right side is my productivity work rig. If I'm ever working from home, this is what I use for my day job. So let's kick things off with the desks themselves. These two desks are identical and they're both from Amazon. I don't exactly remember the brand, but I'll leave everything I mentioned in the video link below that like button. So make sure to go ahead and check those out. So the chair that I'm using on the PC side is the Autonomous Ergo Chair 2. It's a super comfortable chair that looks really good. And while I don't really know how good the Herman Miller chairs are, the Ergo Chair 2 from Autonomous is a really good option if you're looking for a comfortable chair that won't break the bank. On the other side of the setup, I'm using the Poly and Bark Eames Inspired Chair. I only really bought this for its look, and honestly, it's super comfortable. If I had the extra cash, I'd much rather have two Ergo Chair 2s from Autonomous, which would make the setup a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. So starting things off on the left side of the desk setup, the start of the show is my gaming PC. I'm using the NZXT H510 Elite case in matte white. It's a pretty popular case, which you might have seen on Instagram or other desk setups before. But inside though, I have the ASRock Z390 Phantom Gaming 4S motherboard, an i7-9700K processor with the 280mm NZXT X63 AIO. I'm also using the Sock Air 2 RGB fans that came with a case for the two front fans, and I also have one for the rear and the top as well. And as for my graphics card, I'm using the Zotac RTX 2070 Super. I also have 32 gigs of RAM at 3600 megahertz, which I'll probably switch out to something RGB in the future, but we'll see. I also have a one terabyte WD Blue NVMe drive for my boot drive and a two terabyte Samsung 870 QVO to store all my games and media files. Now the monitor that I'm using is an Asus 27 inch 1440p monitor with 165 hertz refresh rate, perfect for Call of Duty Warzone which is my game of choice. So if you've never played on a high refresh rate before, definitely look into it since it'll change the way you play competitive FPS games. And as for my speakers, I'm using the Razer Nomo Chroma. Audio quality is superb for the price. There's enough bass and clarity when I'm watching videos or listening to music, and it doesn't sound muffled or distorted when playing at max volume. Now this speaker isn't gonna wow you by any means, but it looks great and it has RGB, which you can customize by using Razer's Synapse software. And I think it makes this side of the desk set up a little bit more more gamery. Now on top of the monitor, I have the BenQ Screen Bar Plus, which is a modern dimmable desk lamp. It hooks up via USB and the Plus version comes with this really nice control unit, which you can use to change the overall lamp brightness, the color temperature, and a button for auto dimming. It's a super cool lamp that gives the overall desk setup a really nice balance and lit look. Plus it helps eliminate eye strain and discomfort, which I'm a fan of. Now when it comes to my peripherals and my go-to accessories, the keyboard that I use is the Logitech G915T. TKL. It's a wireless low profile mechanical keyboard that's perfect for gaming. I went with the tactile switches, which in my opinion is the best for FPS games. And then I have the Logitech G Pro wireless mouse and G502 mouse. I actually switched between the two to really figure out which one I'm more comfortable with. A lot of pro esports players and streamers actually prefer the G Pro wireless because of how light it is, but the G502 isn't bad either. It's a bit bigger and heavier, which some people might prefer, but for me though, I'm leaning towards the G Pro wireless because of how light it is. As for my headset, I'm using the new Logitech G Pro X wireless headset. I've been using this for the last few weeks and it definitely changed the way I game. With this headset, I can hear a lot more footsteps in Warzone and I feel a little bit more immersed in the game. Now, when I'm done playing for the night, I have this really cool headphone stand under the desk by Elevation Labs, which tucks my headset away for a cleaner desk setup.
Now moving on to the iMac Pro setup, I have the iMac Pro itself, which I've talked about before on this channel. This is usually the computer I use when I'm working from home. And just like my gaming monitor, I have a BenQ screen bar desk lamp on top. This is the non-plus version, which switches out the control unit for touch sensors on the actual light bar. It basically functions the same as the plus version minus the control unit. As for my peripherals, I have the new Razer Huntsman Mini in white, which I think looks really good with this setup. The super small form factor in RGB makes the setup look super clean, but still fun. And paired with the white magic trackpad, it looks amazing. I also have this nice black felt like map to protect the desk from any wear and tear, but it's mostly here for aesthetics. So under the iMac Pro is a Satechi USB-C hub that features three additional USB-A ports and an SD and micro SD card reader. So next to the iMac Pro is my 12 terabyte let's see two big thunderbolt external drive this is what i use to archive footage or projects that i've worked on and other files that i need to access on a weekly basis now i also have a one terabyte thunderbolt 3 external ssd which is blazing fast and i use this for all my video editing now to the left of the imac is the nomad base station wireless charger i have a few of these around my house and at work and if you haven't checked out nomad and all of their cool accessories i suggest you go check them out because they make the best wireless chargers and cables for your tech anyways i hope you all enjoy this quick little video and hopefully picked up a few ideas for your very own desk setup and yeah let me know what you think in the comments section down below and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this i'll have a macbook pro setup coming very soon and yeah i'll see you all in the next one